I constantly forget to water my plants. And while my house plants aren't the most expensive plants, these are just from, well, Ikea, it's still annoying to have to go out and buy new plants whenever my plants die because I forget to water them. And while automatic watering devices do exist, most of them are made for outdoor use and relies on mains power to work. But that's where third reality comes in because they have released two devices that works in tandem in order to keep your plants alive. The first device is this. a smart watering kit. It works as a water pump that can pump water from a water source that you have placed near your plants and then water your plants whenever you tell it to or based on a timer you set in the app. Now on this thing, it works in tandem with the second device that Third Reality has released. their soil moisture meter. And it's actually inserted into my plant at the moment, measuring the plant's moisture and the temperature. And by combining these two devices, you hopefully never have to water your plants again, only having to fill up a water tank or a source of water near your plants. So let's have a look at the unboxing, the setup experience, and the experience that I have had using these two devices for the last couple of weeks. So first off, Third Reality hasn't sponsored this video, but they did send me over the two devices so that I can test them. However, they haven't seen the video in advance, so all of the thoughts are my own. So the unboxing experience with these two devices aren't really that special. With the soil moisture sensor, the only thing you get in the box is the sensor itself and a instruction manual and really nothing else. But I will say that it's nice to see that batteries are included with this device. So Third Reality has inserted some Amazon Basics batteries into the device, ensuring that whenever you get it, all you have to do is pull a small plastic tab and it's ready to pair with whatever smart home platform that you use. That's a pretty nice touch for Third Reality. With the smart watering kit, the unboxing experience is a little bit more involved, but not much. You of course get the smart watering kit device itself in the box. But besides the pump, you also get a long tube, a T connection and some prongs to hold the tube in place into the plant. You of course also get an instruction manual within the box. And just like this soil moisture sensor, Third Reality has also included the four AA batteries that this pump takes so that you can unbox it and pull a small battery tap once again and then have it up and running within seconds of you getting it. But again, Third Reality, it's nice to see that the batteries are indeed included. So after unboxing the devices, you probably wanna set them up. So let's go and take a look at how the setup process is done and how you install and use these devices, both the hardware, but also the software and how you connect them to your smart home system. Both of these devices are Zigbee based, meaning that if you do have a Zigbee based smart home hub, they probably will connect to them. I think you'll have most luck with trying to connect the soil moisture sensor since it's basically just a humidity and a temperature sensor that measures the humidity via the long prong that you insert into the soil of the plant. And most smart home platforms have support for sensors like that. It's a different story with the smart watering kit since it uses some funky functions in order to turn on and off the pump. For example, it has some timer settings that I doubt that most smart home systems support. But let's try and set them up using Home Assistant and SmartThings and see how well that goes. So I'm guessing I just have to pull the battery tab and does that turn on the device? Yeah, it does. It's blinking. Okay, uh, let's try and search for a nearby Zigbee. Okay. I think this is the quickest I've ever discovered a Zigbee device on any platform. Okay, wow, that was, <laughs> that was really impressive. Let's see what kind of features we get in Home Assistant. Smart watering kit, yeah. Okay. IAS zone, I, mm, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. 
Water duration, water interval unknown. Okay, so how often it should water your plant basically. Okay, so apparently there's no, almost no delay between the app and the smart watering kit, which is, which is impressive. It seems like we're able to activate the pump with a switch. So let me just try to toggle that quickly. I'm suspecting that it will activate for the amount of seconds that I have specified here in the update interval in the, uh, under the water duration. So let's see if it actually does turn on for three seconds. I don't know if you heard that, but yeah, it definitely turned on and it sounded like it was three seconds. Let me change that to something that is more distinguishable. So let's say, for example, uh, 10 seconds and it updated, yeah. And that was definitely 10 seconds. Okay, so it does seem like we are able to fully control every feature from Home Assistant, uh, which, is, which is really nice. But yeah, that's basically the functionality you get by adding this to Home Assistant via ZHJ. According to Third Reality, you can also add it to Home Assistant via Zigbee 2 MQTT. But one of the really cool things about the device and one of the huge benefits, I think, with having something like the Third Reality Watering Kit is that all of the features that you just saw in the app, you can also use or adjust simply by using the buttons on the device itself. So if you don't want any of the smart home features, you don't have to use them because everything can be adjusted from the front of the device using these buttons here. But of course, the real benefit with having something like this comes when you combine it with the moisture sensor that they also sell. And it can also be added to Home Assistant via ZHJ or Zigbee 2 MQTT. So adding it to Home Assistant is just as easy as with the watering kit. So let me just show you what you get. It measures both the humidity and the temperature around where you have placed it. So the temperature is obviously the temperature in the air. It's measured from somewhere from the body of the moisture sensor. But the humidity is not the humidity of the air, but rather the moisture of the soil that is measured by inserting the prong into the soil of your plant. So by combining the humidity data from the soil moisture sensor, you can tell when the smart watering kit should water your plants. So instead of relying on a schedule that might change depending on how hard it is or whether or not the sun is shining directly at the plant, you can rely on data from the moisture sensor to send commands to the smart metering kit and give your plants the optimal amount of water, ensuring that you don't drown them, but you don't dry them out either. By doing this, you would basically set up a simple automation that says that whenever the humidity goes below a certain threshold, the smart watering kit should activate and give your plants some water. Mm -hmm. So here I have a bowl of water and I know it's not the most optimal bowl of water to use, but it's all I really had uh, at hand. So next you're gonna use the bag of accessories and the tube that came with the smart watering kit. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors because you have to cut the tube in two so that you can feed one of the tubes from the source of water to the watering kit and then from the watering kit to your plant or your plants. So there's nothing special about this tube. It's just a plastic tube. Uh, in the manual, it says it has a diameter of 0.24 inches. I'll put a tick on the video that shows what that is in millimeters, since that's what I'm using. So my plan is really just to test this out. So I'm just gonna cut a tube there. That seems like a good place to cut it. And to ensure that the pump isn't being clogged by small particles or dirt, they give you this small filter that you need to insert into the end of the tube that you put into the source of your water. And the other end of the tube, you'll have to press fit into the inlet here. In the outlet, you'll connect the other hose or the other tube that you have, just like that. And at the end of that tube, you're gonna to want to connect a water dropper. 
So with this, you can adjust how quickly the water is being delivered to the plant. To ensure that the tube stays in place in your plant, they also give you a few stakes here so that you can connect that to the tube and insert it into the soil in your plant, ensuring that even if the water makes the tube move around just a tiny bit, it won't fall off the plant. In the back of accessories, you'll also get a T-joint, meaning that you can connect two plants to the same watering kit if you want to do that. But now that we have attached the tubes and we have a source of water, we can install the dropper and place the other end of the tube into our source of water. Okay, let's see if it's able to water my plant. Okay, so again, I don't know if you heard that, but it was, first of all, way louder than I thought it would be. It's definitely not something that I would want to, to turn on in the middle of the night. So that was kind of a surprise. Anyhow, well, it worked and it did the trick. So the first time you use this, you obviously have to run it for longer than you might think because the pump has to pump water all the way through the first tube and out of the second tube going into the plant. But once you have done that, every time you activate the pump, water will exit the tube right away. So there's really not much to say about how to set it up and install it, other than it was pretty easy. It was discovered right away and controlling it in Home Assistant makes total sense. So I had to, to grade the setup process and the installation experience. I would give this an A+. So, well, so how's the semi-long term experience? I've only had these sensors set up for a few weeks now. So it's not really a long term review, but still I do have some experience that I feel like I have to share. First off, the smart watering kit has been rock solid on both Home Assistant and SmartThings. And I haven't experienced any dropouts from this device at all on both platforms. And still, even if this device do drop out from your smart home platform, you can still rely on the timer functions since all of the timers are stored locally on this device. This also means that you don't have to connect this to any smart home platform if you don't want to. You can use this as a dumb smart metering kit, basically, uh, only relying on the internal clock to water your plants if that is what you want. But it's a different story with the soil moisture sensor. On SmartThings, I haven't experienced this dropout after a week, so it seems stable enough on SmartThings. On Home Assistant, on the other hand, this sensor keeps dropping out. So I've connected this to Home Assistant via ZHA, and repeatedly after a couple of days, this sensor will terminate the connection with Home Assistant. Whenever trying to reconnect the device, it reconnects without any problems, but it keeps dropping off Home Assistant. On the website, Third Reality does claim that this works with both ZHA and Zigbee 2 MQTT. It's kind of a shame that the moisture sensor doesn't really keep a connection with Home Assistant, because if it did work, I was actually planning on getting a few more for my other plants around my apartment. But seeing that this is as unstable as it is, I think I'll hold on buying more of these until I see a firmware update or until a new version is released with better stability issues. I imagine that if you use Third Reality's own hops, you won't experience this connection issue either. Well, I say I imagine it because even though Third Reality did send me over the Zigbee hub, this thing refuses to connect to the app for some reason. No matter if I try to connect to the app via my iOS device or my Android device, this thing refuses to show up for some reason. It's not that it refuses to connect to my network, it's that it refuses to even show up in the app, no matter which connection mode I try to use. I don't know, third reality, maybe this hub is just not working for me, or maybe something is going on with your app and I need to wait for an update or something. So if you do have a third reality hub and we're hoping that I have had any experience with the stability on this thing, I simply don't because <laughs> For me, this app doesn't work. But if I do get this thing working and I do get it to connect with the sensors that I got, I will tell you in the description how my experience was.
If you are still curious about the soil moisture sensor, you can currently get it on Third Reality's own website for $20. And remember, that's including a battery that is needed to power it. If you're interested in getting the smart watering kit, you can currently get it on Third Reality's own website for $35. And for the price, I actually think it's a pretty valuable buy. And again, remember, it's also including the batteries. So this is probably one of the best value smart home products that I've seen in a long time. And while most smart home products that I do get and test and review, I put in a box somewhere or given to family and friends, this is something that I will most definitely keep for myself and keep using. I would happily buy more of these smart wearing kits. And actually, I'm kind of messing around with the idea of getting more of them because I do have more than two plants in my apartment. And as I said, when going away on a vacation, it's pretty nice to not having to worry about having to water these plants or having to have someone come over to a place and have them water them for you. So while this soil moisture sensor is something I would hold off buying, the smart watering kit is something that I can easily recommend to someone who wants to be able to automate their plant watering. So that was just a quick look at the Third Reality Smart Watering Kit and Soil Sensor. If you think I missed anything or have questions about something that I didn't cover, please feel free to ask away in the comments or send me a message and I'll reply as quickly as I can. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.